Alright, so we're filming from my iPhone now because it's really weird being able to see myself. I don't like it. My camera died, so I'm just gonna film from my iPhone. And yes, that's a new phone. I hope the quality is okay for you guys. If not, sure, I know you'll deal with it anyway, for me, won't you? Aftermath Rebel said, Good morning, Queen Medb. Where do you find the time to reply to most, if not all, of the many posts we that we leave you? Create such amazing videos. Keep up with such a gorgeous, appear a gorgeous appearance and with, the, with an awesome hairstyle. I can't talk, God. Create such wonderfully entertaining reaction videos. Stay 100% superb 24 seven. And graciously even take the time out of your busy schedule to possibly answer my large question. Thank you, your highness. That was really funny and really sweet. Thank you so much. I pump a lot of time into the channel, into replying to comments, into uploading videos and editing videos. And it mightn't seem that way to you guys because I know I only upload two videos a week, but a lot of effort goes into that. I'm glad that you see that and that you appreciate that. But replying to comments is something that I pride myself on. I haven't replied to any comment under the video that I'm reading the questions from, which is, it's the minute long video that I posted on Tuesday. I haven't replied to any of those comments because I'm replying to them here. Super BK76, and here's a question, Katie. If zombie apocalypse was to happen after saving your loved ones, what would be the first thing you would do? Or rob, either rob something. Why would you rob it? Why not just walk in and buy stuff? We're going straight to rioting and looting. Of course. Our plan of action is to go straight to looting and take refuge on barricade bells. The house? We should go to like Tesco or something. They have food. Also- Barricade the, ourselves into Tesco. Well, well, our, our house is sturdy because it's like concrete, mm -hmm. but the, the air might be like glass for them, like easy to break. You know, like windows True, and stuff true. Oscar Provencio said, what are some of the things you hope to see in the second half of The Walking Dead season seven? I would like to see Carol return back to the group and join Rick in the fight against Negan. I, oh man, the contrast. Is that gonna happen every time I put my hand up? I put my hand up, <laughs> I'm like John Cena. <sighs> oh, it happens when I turn my head, okay. Don't move your head. It's cause the pink, the pink is reflecting the light. Um, I'd like to see Carol return back to Rick's group. That's pretty much the main thing I want to see happen. Mo Bryant said, if you were riding The Walking Dead, who would you have kill Negan? I'd love to see Maggie kill him. There was something very poetic about that. Comments by Sean said, can I crash on your couch if I vacation in Ireland? Of course you can. JNC said, what's your favorite episode so far and the character you missed the most? I think I kind of answered that inadvertently. Um, my favorite episode of the season so far is the premiere. And the character, I don't really miss any of the characters, to be honest, I miss Herschel. A Glenn and Abraham, I keep forgetting about them. Carlos Espinosa said, how do you think Rick dead would be? Do you mean like, what would he be like as a dead guy? Or like, what would happen if he died? As a walker, I reckon he'd be pretty fucking cool. If he died, I reckon Carl, Coral would step up and take over being like leader of the group. No, I don't, I don't think Carl is mature enough. Ah, uh, you haven't seen season seven yet, Sam. You haven't seen him in season seven. He tried to kill Negan by himself. He hopped in the back of a van and went and tried to kill Negan and Jesus saved him. <laughs> Jesus the character, not Jesus in the sky. Denzel said, hey, Pink Ranger, lol. Have you been to the Walking Dead escape obstacle course and will you let me take you on a date there? Where is this obstacle course? Comic-Con. Is it? It's like, you have to, it's like um, you're running away from like walkers and stuff. I've seen a video I've of seen it they're running up ramps and they're running through buildings yeah. oh yes I've seen the video of that oh my god I would love to go to that I watched you're right Sam I watched videos on that too Mihai Buzz Dukanu said do you think Nika will die this season I don't I think he'll survive until at least the end of season 8 Michelle Martinez Harris said, when did Daryl become your favourite character? Is there a specific episode or situation? There was, actually. The scene where the governor has Daryl taken prisoner and he tries to make Merle and Daryl, or he does make Merle and Daryl fight against each other. That scene was my favourite because Daryl's face, when they pulled the bag up over his head and he saw it was his brother that he had to fight, he looked so frightened and he did go into little brother mode when Merle said to him, just follow my lead, little brother. I could relate to that because obviously I have a brother. He is sitting over there right now. And I can't relate to being the little sibling, but I can relate to being the older sibling. And watching Daryl like frightened and confused, like what the hell? It just, it kind of resonated with me a little bit as a sibling. And um, that really made me take notice of his character. And from then on, he's just been my favorite. 
Candy Yum Yum said, do you have any tr Christmas Eve traditions? I always watch Home Alone 1 and 2 in bed as much as I love both films. It's the only day of the year I allow myself to watch both. Our dad kind of pulls us in to watch Home Alone 2 and Lost in New York. That's true, yeah. Our dad loves Home Alone, Lost in New York, and we don't really like it, but he makes us watch it <laughs> every Christmas Eve. But my tradition is I have to shower. I take like a long shower, you know, like a fancy shower with like all new bath sets and stuff that you might have gotten for Christmas. I put on new pyjamas because my nana gets me new pyjamas every year for Christmas and I love pyjamas. I put them on and then I usually just sit down beside the fire in the sitting room for the rest of the night with my family. Dundee Tortuga, are you laughing at me? Fuck off Sam. Dundee. Said, have you, watched, have you watched Train to Busan? It's a really good zombie apocalypse thriller. I haven't watched that um, thriller that you mentioned, I might though. And thank you very much for the kind words. Derek Silk said if a zombie apocalypse broke out in the real world, and you found some mysterious item that could resemble any fictional team of your five favourite characters from any show, any show, who would they be and why? Mm. Oh! Can that be from anything? Can we twist it a little bit? Sure. Yeah. Batman. Because, you know, super. Batman's nothing without his suit. All of his powers are in the fucking Shut suit! Up. I didn't say Iron Man! No, he isn't! He is trained in over 100 why have I never seen Batman go ninja without his Batman suit on? I've never seen Bruce Wayne take down someone. No, That's because Batman. He has to be incognito. <laughs> go on. Superman, because like Superman's are like you know. Superman can turn power. back time. Yeah, he can. All you need is Superman. He Get him to go him. fly around the world and turn Flash, back to Flash, before. Flash, you can just hop on his back. Yeah, but Superman cool. is cooler because he can fly. You can get Superman to fly around the world and just undo the outbreak. Do you remember that thing he did to save Lois Lane? Yeah. If he went Where woo. He went like full cycle. Yeah, he could just undo the apocalypse. Done. Green Lantern, because what he could do, right, is he could put you in his space bubble <laughs> <laughs> and he could just fly into space and never come back to Earth. Fuck you guys. You deal with the apocalypse, we're going to space. All right, so you have Batman, Superman, Green Lantern and The Flash. I will have... I need someone to make me laugh. Sam, who do I find funny? All the people I have are all like doom and gloom. All the people you have are like saviors. They're, they're people that will save you. If I stick with you throughout the apocalypse, I can kind of use your people too. <laughs> use me? Yeah, you can get your fancy people. They'll look after me. I want someone funny. Louis C.K. Our teams will be friends. Yeah, I like Louis C.K. He'd be useless in apocalypse, but he's really funny. Oh, no, Billy Conley! Billy fucking Connolly and a Billy Connolly on my team, even though he's not from a TV show. I would have Castiel from Supernatural because he's an angel, literally. I would have Daryl because any universe where I can be friends with Daryl Dixon is a good universe. That's all I need, really. They're the only ones I need. MGS Ryder said, um, managed to find internet, <laughs> but only for this video. My question is, any other hair color in mind? Personally, I love white hair, but I rarely see anyone with it. Yeah, I love, I love white hair too. I love silver hair as well, but that's like really hard to keep, especially my hair is really dark. You might be able to see, but my roots are starting to come through, but let's just ignore them. Kyle Firth said, hey, Katie, I'd really like to meet you one day. You're so awesome, thumbs up. Thank you so much. I hope we get to meet too. Daniel said, if there was one Walk Dead character you could survive with dead or alive, who would it be? Okay, so I'm not gonna pick Daryl because I think you guys know I'm gonna go with that. I'd pick Negan because I think it would be so fun having to go around with Negan and explain to everyone, hey, I'm sorry about him, he's an asshole. And if I have to survive with him, that means he can't kill me, so he has to be alive with me. Exactly. Yeah, so I could be like, Negan, stop being a little bitch. Negan, stop waving Lucille in people's face. Negan, I'm gonna break that bat in half. And then when we meet other people, I could be like, lads, be careful, he's a fucking psychopath, don't say nothing to him. And he can't do anything to me. Negan, for sure. Plus, he's really funny. Dakara Jane said, if you were... My dog has now joined the party. Come on, Lily, you might as well come in. Come up and say hello. Then, look up at the camera. Look, oh, look here. Oh God, what? Lily, would you please look at the camera? Look, oh, who's that? Say hi. This is my baby, my pride and joy. All right, she can just, you can't see her, but she's sitting on my lap. Aren't you sitting on my lap, good girl? Okay, so Dakara Jane said, if you offered to play a part in The Walking Dead, would you rather play a walker for an episode and have an awesome death? Oh, I said the W word and she twigged it. She stared me in the eye. Have a three-part appearance with the odd line that's killed off before turning. Or respectfully decline because yikes, stage fright. 
I reckon I would get stage fright, but I would jump at the opportunity to be in The Walking Dead. And my dad has now joined the party. We're all partying in my room. They can't see you, don't worry. I think I'd play a walker for an episode and have like a really gruesome, amazing death because I'd love to see the makeup process for the walkers. Like, I'd love to just sit down and have Greg Nicotero just do my face. My I think dream, that my dream death. Yeah, what would your dream death be? Would be right. Rick will kick me out of two a two story building, <laughs> right? I get slapped across the face in mid air or by Rick. <laughs> <laughs> So Rick will jump out the window after you. Yeah, right. And then he'd get a chainsaw and like rip, like rip off my, like rip my legs off <laughs> and dang, and like go around with them and start smacking people with them uh, and then lie me on the floor, chain me to like the ground and then get an RV and roll over my face. Who's driving the RV? Rick is he doing all this by himself? That's a wild death. Yes. Thomas Wilson said, Hello Katie, aka Crazy Haired Lady, aka Pink Blaze. You said a lot of beautiful words there, Thomas. You said, I think some of it comes from the influence of family and friends, but you have something most people do have but rarely use, and that is integrity and heart. The fact you take time out for the people that subscribe to you and genuinely care about us viewers is something to behold. You're willing to put yourself out in the world and not give a shit. You are who you are. Exactly. I love that saying, you are who you are. It takes a lot of guts. But all, my question is, with all of this talent that you have, um, with what I guess God, the universe, this big ass mess we call life, or whatever you believe has given you so far, what are your plans to do with it? I don't really think I have any talent or anything like that. Um, I just literally just make videos, you know? So I, do, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I just want to continue to make people laugh. If I can make people laugh, then I'm happy. Thank Why you. Why do you like Santa Claus? Santa doesn't make people laugh. He, yeah, he makes all the children around the world. They don't laugh. They don't wake up Christmas morning and go, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> but thank you so much, Thomas. That was a beautiful comment. Adriana Victoria said, you look fantastic. So pretty. I love your scarf. Of all your tattoos, is there one or two that are most special to you? I don't like playing favorites when it comes to my tattoos because they're all special. But my most sentimental tattoo is I have a matching tattoo with my mom. And it's the word unconditionally across my shoulder. That is probably the most special to me because it is the only matching tattoo I have with anyone. Fletcher said, Hi Katie, if you were thrown into the world of The Walking Dead and you got to choose which community to be a part of, what would you choose? Alexandria, Kingdom, Hilltop, Sanctuary or Oceanside? I don't want to pick the Sanctuary because they are going to fall eventually. Negan will fall. I don't want to pick Alexandria because they're just getting in trouble with everyone. Hilltop, they're about to be dragged into the war. So I think I'd just fucking pick Oceanside because Oceanside are chilling in the forest. They're not bothering anyone. They've been through tough times, but they're chill at the moment, so I think I'd pick them. Haleview said, it looks like King Ezekiel won't intentionally join the fight against Negan. What would it take to change his mind? I think all Ezekiel needs to change his mind is Carol. I think she could easily change his mind. Negan could kill his tiger. <laughs> it was dark said, Negan, come in, kill Shiva, and then, like, moonwalk out. Scott McCloy said, what do you think about Rosina's character? I think she's a complex one this season. I like that we're seeing smaller characters get bigger roles so far. Yaka Productions said, Katie, are you a fan of the Boondock Saints? Before or after you saw Norman's appearance in The Walking Dead? And I'm curious as to your opinion on how they handled the Irish accents and culture. Was it accurate, over the top, or stereotyped? I love the Boondock Saints. It's probably my favourite movie ever. Hi, Lily. How you doing? The Irish accents, I think, in parts were dreadful and in parts they were okay. I think Norman's accent came in and out of character. Uh, Sean Patrick Flannery's accent was pretty good in the Boondock Saints. You do need to have a bit of over top because it wouldn't be actually yeah. funny to like... Yeah, I think they were trying to make it humorous. Because like you can easily put on a fake accent like... <laughs> that was like... American... <laughs> yeah. Jesse Yarborough said, I noticed the TV series Vikings films there. Do you mean like in Ireland? Have you seen the show? Have they filmed near you? I think they film up the north and I haven't seen Vikings. iFan37 said, what is the best thing that's happened to you since YouTube started and who is your favourite actor? My favourite actor is probably Jared Leto because I love that man. I've loved that man for years and I think he did a fantastic job as the Joker. Lily, can you stop chewing your treats into the camera? Um, the best thing that has happened to me... Did I insult her? She ran out of my room. The best thing that has happened to me since YouTube it's probably Melissa McBride. Melissa McBride, remember that? She tweeted that she knew who I was or that she mentioned my video in a tweet and that nearly killed me. Melissa McBride tweeting about me was the highlight. 
Levi Harsa, do you believe the theory that Rick might have grown a certain immunity to the virus and that he keeps dying and coming back normally instead of a walker? Wow, I haven't heard of that. Rick has had a lot of um, near-death experiences. That's a cool... That time where he cut his idea. hand in the walker blood. Yeah, and in, in the show they cut off, or in the comics they cut off his hand and they didn't in the show. That's a cool idea. I never thought about that. The UK Dark Knight said, how do you want The Walking Dead to end, season finale-wise? I want to see it end with a bang, probably around season 11 or 12. But I'm not... I don't want to drag it on. I don't want it to be dragged out, yeah. But I don't know how I want to see it end. Oh, wow. Neve Kimmel said, I've been thinking of cutting and donating my hair for a couple of years now. I don't know if I should, because my hair is really healthy and thick, and I've never cut it in my life. What do you think I should do? I think if it's for... Charity. If it's for charity, and you've been thinking about it for a few years... For it. You should go for it without a doubt. Short hair is cute. You could rock it, especially if you've thick hair. Thick short hair really works. Like I've really thick hair, and it's really easy to manage since I cut it short. But donating it to charity—that's such a beautiful idea, Neve. And also, <clears throat> like, um, you know, if say if you cut it, mm? it could grow back as well. Yeah, hair grows back really fast. It's just hair. So if you cut it and you don't like it, you only have to put up with it for a short while, and then it'll grow back again. Vicky Eleanor said, how did the Rickle hug make you feel? It made me die inside. Rickle? Is that a type of maple syrup? No, Rickle, Rick and Daryl, they hugged at the end of the, the mid-season finale. It was gorgeous. You didn't oh, my see brother. it. Shut up, stop judging. Do you think Carol will go back with the group? I hope she does. I really hope Carol joins the group again. Trojan Zam... Zam... Zom... Zombies. Why could I not say that word? Zombies. Zombies. So what's the one goal you want to achieve either on YouTube or personal life in 2017? I don't think I have, I don't set goals for my YouTube. I remember I'm, that sounded so British. I don't set goals for I don't YouTube. set goals for my YouTube. I just hope for the best really, darling. The only goal that I want really from life is to just be happy, that's it. And I'm achieving that so far, so. Fran asked, what would you like to be when you grow up? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm laughing at your question, but uh, um, I think she's grown up now because she's I'm not, legally a grown I'm, up. I'm legally. She's 20. Legally, years old. I am a grown up, but I'm not. Ow. I'm not grown up. I just want to be happy. You literally want to be the happy, the happy. I want to be the happy. That's what I want to be. Um, hey, it's Gemma said, hey, it's Bubblegum Shock. And a question What is your favorite Walking Dead character? Daryl. Opie Crumpus said, hey, Katie Curious, if you woke up one day to discover a zombie apocalypse happened, what's the first thing you would do? Okay. Get Loose. Up. Get Loose. all my family ready. Yeah. Get the baseball bat. Oh, I have a baseball bat now. What we'd do is we'd like duct tape magazines and stuff to our arms. We'd go and we'd like get supplies and just be safe. Um, I'd go straight to Tesco and get all the gluten free food. I'd be, how would I survive in the apocalypse? You wouldn't. I wouldn't. You'd I'd die. Be I'd have to eat wheat. Yeah. If worse came to worst. Oh, fuck that. I'd rather die. Oh my God. Jim Scuffstall said, What's the best and worst present you ever received on Christmas? Wow. Well, to be fair, there like is no our bad presents. presents. Like our, like our um, parents, they do put a lot of thought into. Our yeah, presents. our parents try really hard. Our entire family tries really hard. We're blessed in that way, mm -hmm. and we love every single. Yeah, day. so I don't think I've ever gotten a bad present. The best present is probably I got tickets to Walker Stalker Atlanta this year. So that's probably by far the best. Are you a fan of Disney movies? Do you have a favorite Disney movie? Is Dumbo a Disney movie? Yes. Dumbo is my favorite Disney movie. Also, I have a favorite Disney. What movie. is it? Peter Pan. Yeah, Sam's loved Peter Pan since he was a baby. Do you have any of the pets beside your dog? Nope. What's your favourite Harry Potter movie and your favourite Harry Potter character? What's my favourite Harry Potter movie? I think my favourite is The Deathly Hallows, because part one and two, because I love how dark it is. And my favourite Harry Potter character is Hermione. Can you play any musical instrument? I can. I can play the guitar, I can play the ukulele, I can play the bass. I don't have a bass anymore, do you remember that? I sold it. I play the keyboard. I play the keyboard as well. <laughs> I think that's it. Napoleon 97 said, what was it like during your years in Lazy Town? Well, you know what they say, things are upside down here in Lazy Town. Adventure's just a moment away. It was wild. J-W-I-D-N said, if you're in The Walking Dead as a walker, who would you want to get killed by and how? You got very excited there. I did. I would, I, ooh, wow. I want to be killed by Daryl. Do you remember that kill he did where he jumped and he kind of killed someone with an arrow mid-jump? That was just mwah, beautiful. I'd love something like that. Not like an arrow to the eye, because then he could kill me from a distance. I'd love for him to like run at you and like kill you with something. That would be I'd, cool. I'd like medium, depending on what it would feel. Yeah? Yeah. That'd be, if I had to pick. That'd be cool. Because he'd be like, yeah. wait a minute. Wow. 
Daniel Curson said, "If I'm wondering if you have any other zombie movies, past or present, that you love." Oh, the second one, the mob. Dawn of the Dead. Yes, I loved Dawn of the Dead. That was really good. And the one. The Z Nation. One. I love. No, no, no. Uh, World War Z. I love World War Z. Okay, the one about you know the one where he's crawling to the vents and the dad died, and it's like you never see the zombies, you just see their eyes. <gasps> oh yeah. Also. Oh. What Warm was this? Bodies. Bodies. I loved Warm Bodies. What was the one? It was one of the best zombie movies I've ever seen. It's about a family, a man, a woman and a child. They live down a hatch and it's like post-apocalyptic world and they can't go outside because there's like zombies. But you never see the zombies, you only ever see their eyes. And at the end of the movie, um, the father dies and the mother and the kid get outside. Oh, Sam. I'll Google it and if I can remember the name of it, I'll put the name along the bottom of the screen. That's probably the best zombie type movie I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. You know way you know more about me than I do. Do you think they should make a Walking Dead movie? I'd love to see a Walking Dead movie. I think what they should I think do, they should right? finish this the entire show yeah, on that. That yeah, I was just about to say instead of like doing a season, just do a movie. That'd be cool. Yeah. Ali Dodds said, Do you ship any couples in any shows you watch? If so, who? I used to ship Carol and Daryl, I'm not gonna lie, I did, but I I don't really care about seeing Daryl in a relationship. Like, everyone's like, he needs to get with someone. He doesn't. His character is perfectly fine. Like, you don't need a romantic interest to validate a character. Um, I loved Glenn and Maggie together as a couple. I love Rick and Michonne together as a couple. But I don't think I ship anyone else. Easy Street said, do you play the Walking Dead game? I have played the first two. I haven't played the third one, the Telltale. I haven't played the third Telltale yet. Sly Stealth HD said, if you had a chance to change anything that happened on the Walking Dead, what would it be? I would change Rick going into the Saviour's compound and killing them all in their sleep. Because so I think that's what made Negan decide to corner Rick and to put the Eleven in the lineup. Mm. I'd change that. So I wonder what would happen if Rick never went and killed all the sleeping Saviours. He really didn't have He would have. Did he? Did he, well, have he, made, he made a deal with Gregory at Hilltop that yeah. they'd get rid of the Saviours. So if Rick had never made that deal with Gregory, I wonder how would they have met Negan and would it have been, it would have been under a different circumstance, but would it have played out this way? I'd, lo I'd love to see that. Nat Gable said, who's your favourite Walking Dead villain? Negan. Who's your, who's your favourite movie villain? What's the movie villain I loved? Loki. Loki? Loki wasn't really a villain though, was he? Yeah, he, no, he's a trickster. He's yeah. More of a, he, he's more of an annoyance. Yeah. He's like a dude. But he was a villain in one of the movies. I love Loki. But the Jar 1963 said, I hope you and your family have a wonderful Christmas. Miss Lady sends all her love. Best of luck with the move and Jerry, I hope it all goes well for you. Do you think it would be easy right now to bring in yet another group? Kind of seems like they're spreading things kind of thin. Yeah, I think that it would be smart to start including people in the fight against Negan. Like bring in Oceanside, bring in the kingdom, bring in everyone. Sizzle 3 said, what do you think about World War Z? Love that movie. Vex Frost said, why did you decide to cut your hair? I just got sick of it. It was too long and bushy. Rodriguez Mexican Cyan. Said, how do you pronounce your last name? I've been trying to say it for a long time now. It's O'Shaughnessy. You heard about The Walking Dead before the start of the show or when the TV show was already running. Uh, season five was on air when I discovered the show. Like I heard about it, but I'd never watched it before then. Dana Bratz said, I'm loving everyone's questions. So unbelievably, so many unbelievably thought out ones. I agree, Dana, the questions are fantastic. Henbo4000 said, do you think they will kill off Daryl soon or near the end or never? I don't know, I feel like if his character goes stale, they will kill him off. But he's a fan favourite, so I think the writers are scared to kill him off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It either go two ways, really well or really, really bad. Yeah. Tammy Schultz said, how do you feel about Negan? I want to hate him, and I do. But don't you think there's something very sexy and intriguing about his character? I think Jeffrey Dean Morgan is an attractive human being, but I don't find anything sexy about Negan because I, I just... To be honest, he's kind of like a disgusting guy. Yeah, it's the whole, greedy. the whole many like count or countless wives, and I do what I want, and you know he's too cocky for my liking. He's a fantastic character, and he's so sarcastic and evil. But character-wise, I'm like nah, I don't find him attractive. But Jeffrey Dean Morgan is an attractive human. Lego Marvel fan one two three said, my question is, what would your reaction be if Daryl was killed off? Do you think it'll happen one day? I think I'd probably crack my windows with the sound of the scream I make, but I think it would be awesome to see. Headbutt the screen. <laughs> Headbutt the, the fucking laptop. <laughs> Fuck you, Walking Dead. Jack Eaton said, What kind of content will you upload once the Walking Dead is over for good? I have no idea. 
Paul Mentoni said, I love your channel recaps The Walking Dead. My question is, how much do you know about Australia? What's your favourite Australian animal? I know nothing about Australia. Yeah, I know. Kangaroo? Yeah, and they're Australian. Boomerangs. A boomerang isn't a type of fucking animal. It's a thing you throw. Yeah. It's like a frisbee, but it's not. Uh, I know nothing about Australia. I know Home and Away. Is Home and Away Australia or New Zealand? Australia. Yeah? yeah. I love Home and Away, and I've been watching that since I was very young. DM Luckman Author said, Oh, wow, lots of questions. Um, I'm 20. My interests are music, TV shows, drawing, arty stuff. I have a dog. Uh, I record my videos in my room. Tell us about your personality. Stupid but clever. That's very true. I have some really seriously stupid moments like, wow. And then you come out and you're really clever. And, and then I come out with like these deep, meaningful things and you're like, where the fuck did you get that from? Channel for Snakes said, where have you travelled to outside of Ireland? I've been to England multiple times. I've been to Germany and I've been to America. Anthony and Kona said, do you think Carol will be part of the team that fights against Negan or is Carol on her way out? I feel like they're trying to write off her character. They're trying to make us hate her, but I have a feeling she'll join the fight against Negan. And if they do kill her off, I have a feeling that the fan base will be okay with it because she'll have like redeemed herself. Now, Bruno Games said, why have you stopped making Michelle Telltale? I was really enjoying your gameplay. I don't know. I just kind of stopped fucking playing it, I guess. You could do something similar to that. I could, but you know, yeah. you know what I'm like. Spike Morningstar said, what other TV shows do you like? Any of the superhero or supernatural ones? I love the TV show Supernatural. Uh, Sam? I love the superhero. I love watching The Flash. I, um, I'm watching season three, which is the current one. Mm -hmm. I like that. Legends of Tomorrow. I haven't watched the full season, for full first season. Really Gwentup Miller is in that, isn't he? Yeah. I like Gwentup Miller. He's in Prison Break, one yes. of my favourite ones. Yeah, Prison Break is a favourite. Did I mention that a while ago? No. Yes, you did. Gabriel or Gabrielle Martinez said I love how you say film and filming people keep saying that to me filming I like I was talking to my friends yeah and like they kept I, I can't remember that I said one word and they kept on saying it was the friend not Irish yeah yeah we were see yeah people just our accent makes us sound weird and people seem to like it Michael Coffey said uh, I hope you have a wonderful Xmas mine would be how did you get started on YouTube any advice you want to give to somebody who wants to start. I just kind of got started out of boredom and because I wanted to make friends, really. Any advice would be make a channel based on things that you love. If you do that, you'll never get bored. And um, do, it, do it because you like it, not do it. Exactly, do it because you love making videos, not for any other reason. Oscar Gomez said, do you think a zombie apocalypse could really happen? I totally fucking do. Yeah, like there's like, have you heard about that like zombie uh, spider? Oh, I it's think like, I heard something about that. Thing. There's been loads of things like that going yeah. around though. That bitch Tom Tom, fucking amazing username, said Team Cap or Team Iron Man? Team Cap. Captain America? Yeah. Uh, Dane Rob said, your makeup is amazing. Do you do it yourself? I do. Thank you very much. Soul Killer 21 said, Negan versus the governor. Who wins? Negan. Kimberly Smith um, left a nice message warning me about strangers. Thanks, Kimberly. I know. I'm aware. Stranger danger. Karis 40 so when you go to Walker Stalker Atlanta, make sure you do a vlog. Um, I definitely will be doing a vlog at Walker Stalker and for London's Walker Stalker as well. M R A K oh god M R A Z K O V A twenty five said if Negan made you his wife, how would you deal with that? I'd fucking kill him in his sleep. What I'd do is I'd pretend to be a woman. <laughs> All right, get him to marry me. Okay. Kill him in his sleep. Kill every other single wife. You what? Right, and kill his like best man, and then I would be the, and I'd be like, I'm not a woman. Jesus, I that's evil. Am. Watch out for my brother in the evil. fucking apocalypse. Fucking hell, Sam. Where did that come from? Bow down. All right, Liz Pink Snow said, "Are you a Marvel or DC fan, Sam? Am I DC? I like you're darker DC, things. Yeah, so, so I'd be DC. You're Marvel, you? No, you're DC as well. DC forever." Yeah. Michael Lewis asked what kind of vehicle will I use for transport? In like the, 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 the apocalypse. apocalypse. Yeah, the apocalypse. <laughs> I'd, use a, I'd use a transporter watch. So you can just transport yourself anywhere in the world. Whoa, what a brilliant idea. I know. Lady Ellie 13 said, do you work at a Mac store or something? I'm asking because you always look so glam. Thank you very much. I don't. I love Mac stores, but no, I, I don't work anywhere like that. I work with clothes. Kevin Brooker said, um, do you think Rick and his team remember when Christmas is? 
I don't think so because we never have a Christmas special. Yeah, we never it's see them. The it's all set in the summer. We never see them in the winter time. They just it, skip oh Christmas. My God. Is there a Christmas or a wintry time in The Walking Dead? Yeah, you just never see it on screen. Yeah. Seamus The Walking Dead said, What fantastic artist drew the Negan and Abe's picture behind you? Uh, can you see it here? I'll move the camera a little bit so you can. Those two pictures up there, Seamus was kind enough to draw them for me and they are fantastic. Tay, T-A-E, said, what's your favorite food? What's my favorite food? Popcorn? I love popcorn. Safetyman460458 said, what's your favorite Fear the Walking Dead character? I quite like Nick. Stacy Ha said, I'm from Trinidad. I've been to Dublin twice and thinking about going back next year for St. Patrick's Day. What would you advise me to visit? I just think the culture in general over here is great. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but... There's a lot of cool stuff to see in Dublin. The Tolland man, the Tolland man is cool. Caden Nurse said, um, hey, hey Caden Nurse. Someone asked me if I watched Preacher yet. I haven't. Secret said, I see the card I sent you arrived. It has and I love it, thank you so much. They also added, are you planning any further Walking Dead tattoos? I am, I'm hoping to get a lot of Walking Dead tattoos before Walker Stalker London. Or Star 101 said, if you, had, if you had to choose how you would die in The Walking Dead, what way would you like to go? I hate the idea of being eaten as well, but if I was in the show, watching myself in the show, I'd love to see me, myself be like, torn to shreds. Minnesota, I can't pronounce his name, so lads, I'm sorry. Minnesota. Say, what? Minnesota. Minnesota, said I love your hair, you're a Gemini, do you get along with Sagittarius? I don't think I know any Sagittarius. Kirsten Weidman said, greetings from Minnesota. Have you listened to any symphonic metal bands? If not, I'd recommend Nightwish, Within Temptation and Camelot. Awesome, I'll look them up. Jake Hooving Gaming said, what would be the first thing you'd do if you found out the zombie apocalypse was happening? I'd go cry in a corner. Fark off Kent said, would you rather be human with the brain of a chimpanzee or have the brain of a human in a chimpanzee's body? Give me brain a chimp. Of, brain of a human. Yeah, in a chimpanzee's body. I'd be going around like fucking swinging from door yeah. to door. Charming New Society said, you mentioned your PO box is closing since you only bought it for one month. Will you be opening it again? I will sometime next year. Those back pages said, if you watch Lost Jet, I have and I loved it. Somebody asked me who's better, Michael Jackson or Prince. Personally, I think Michael Jackson. Donna Dawson said, love your hair, so versatile. Thank you very much, Donna. She's asking what happened to Carl. Yeah, I kind of agree. I've kind of grown tired of her character this season so far. Power Cookie once said, how cold is Ireland? It is cold as balls. Dana Brad said, hey, a girl, do your co-workers follow your YouTube channel? No, they do not. Derek McDonald said, I got a question. How'd you get into The Walking Dead? My dad got me into it. Ivy Larry said, what's your normal day off like? Do you spend it outdoors or with friends or inside? I don't really have days off. Days that I'm not working, I spend at home answering comments on YouTube or making videos for you guys. So I don't really have a full day off to just do nothing ever. Antonio M said, do you feel more confident now your channel is getting more successful? I don't know, kind of in a way. I mean, I'm just kind of becoming more confident in myself in general, I guess. Not even got to do it with my YouTube. I've just found peace, like, from within. Deep. I know, yeah. Casey Cannon said, hope you're feeling okay. Your voice is sort of hoarse in this video. Yeah, I've been a bit sick the last few days. Thank you for noticing, Casey. How would you rank The Walking Dead? One being your favourite and seven being your least. My favourite season is season three. After that, probably season seven. And after that, there's no particular order, I guess. Gary S asked me if I've seen Dawn of the Dead. I have. I've seen the old original version and the remake and I loved them. Ryan Butler asked, was there ever a movie or TV series you heard a lot of hype about but could not get into? Big Bang Theory. Yes, Big Bang Theory. My parents loved that show, all of my friends loved that show. I watched a few episodes and I, I feel like it's a cheap imitation of Friends, so I couldn't get into it. Dana Bratt said, how do you feel about spoilers being posted from the comic book? I don't mind it because like the comic book was out before the show, so if people talk about the comic online, you know. And plus, like you you really don't really read the comic book, so yeah. you wouldn't be really looking for Exactly, yeah. Comic, so. Final Mystery asked, what would it take for Negan to break you? Who are you? Fucking hell, that's a good question. If Negan was trying to get to me, probably through my family. If he tried anything with my family, I'd snap like a fucking twig. Richard H said, I dig the current look. Thank you, Richard. Lizzie Sage said, what do you think of the two deaths in season seven, episode one? I thought they were heartbreaking. Andre Beda said, define 2016 in one word. And what are your, are your plans for 2017? Describe my year in one word, crazy crazy between going to walker stalker starting my youtube channel and everything in between it's been crazy sarah said what's your ultimate favorite christmas song my favorite christmas song is um it's christmas baby please come home by mariah carey or i'm loving oh come oh come emmanuel by tyler joseph it's not by him but he covered it 
Biohazard Tekken said, what is your favourite character from the Scream TV series? I loved, um, oh Jesus, I can't remember his name. The fella that turned out to be Scream, if you get what I mean. He was dating the main girl in it. You know who I'm on about. Just Me said, if you had the opportunity to live in another city, which would it be? Probably New York. London. London? Yeah, London's cool. Lawrence Sarah asked, what are your top three favourites of all time? Boondock Saints, The Crow, and what other movie do I love? There's one movie that I always swear by. Christmas. No, that's not in my top three. What? No, it wouldn't be. <gasps> Breakfast Club. Yeah, The Breakfast Club. I love The Breakfast Club. Ooh, George Arturo Barrera said, if you were Maggie, what name would you choose to name your baby? I think if it was a boy, I think I would name him after Glenn. And if it was a girl, Glenina. Mr. Zombie Kid said, if you could swap accents with any other accent in the world, what would it be? I want a Southern Georgia accent. Do you know the Georgia accent in America? Oh, I love the Southern twang. Mina asked me, what is my biggest wish for 2017? I don't really know, just to be happy and healthy, I guess. And for my family to be happy and healthy. Nathan G asked, if you were to star as a villain in The Walking Dead, what would your villain name be and who would you want to kill? Kitty! No. Oh, okay, my clan would be the Revenge. Okay. And they would, like, go after people. Like, they'd be, like, bounty hunters. They'd Fuck the hell. Or, like, hitmen. Yeah. You know? And everyone would be like, yeah, don't mess with them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm cut out to be a leader. I'd buckle under the pressure. CLD48 said, Daryl Dixon or Tyler Joseph? Joseph. Why would you make me pick that? Come on. I've well, I've loved Daryl for longer, but Tyler, <laughs> but Daryl is special to me. I'd have to go with. Oh man, this is like Sophie's choice. I'd have to go with Tyler because I can relate to him Ooh, on such. No, seriously, Daryl is a character. Tyler is a real human, and I feel like Tyler. Tyler has written songs that have made me rethink things and have made me like look at my life and stuff. Tyler probably. Gangster Pug Production said, Hello Katie, I'm a pug. Hi Pug, how are you doing? I like pugs. I like pugs too. Ross asked me, have I listened to Lady Gaga's new album? I haven't, I'm not a big Lady Gaga fan. Les Goldsmith said, a full on world war breaks out. The Walking Dead fandom versus 21 Pilots fandom. You must grab a weapon and choose a side. Who do you fight for and what is your war strategy? Les, why would you make me choose? But would I don't want to be. Fight, would Twenty One Pilots fight? Would Tyler Joseph stand for that? Exactly, Tyler Joseph wouldn't stand for that kind of thing. Tyler Joseph is a lover, not a fighter. He'd start hugging them. Yeah, they'd be like, "Come here, friend." Um, plus, I don't want to go up against the Walking Dead fandom. I don't want to go up against the Walking Dead fandom. They're fucking savage. Go, oh, Rick. What do you fight for? What is your weapon? My weapon would be. Who am I fighting for? I'm not picking. Fuck that, Liz. Too good of a question. Too very good question. Lauren Doe isn't so bad. So what is your most prized possession from The Walking Dead? I say a YouTube channel. Yeah, but is that really from The Walking Dead? Yeah. No, I think they meant merch. That's the reason why. I think they meant... Yeah, true. Merch-wise, um, probably my signed photos that I got at Walker Stalker. Kathleen, so you got my card, you can see it on the shelf. The Glittery Snowman, Winter Wishes. Yay, thank you for displaying it. Thank you for sending it. What are you and your family traditions for the holidays? Our only traditions is that we spend it together no matter what. Donna said I came across the story time Saturday, the time I went camping video. Thank you so much for watching this. Ray Bryce said, will Carol survive long after Rip Rick? Hypothetically, Carol is a warrior, but Rick has to fight the war. Carol will outsurvive Rick, I think. Carl. Coral. Varda Regulator. So I want to say I love your channel and your attitude. My question is, you, like so many other, are so caught up in the storyline of The Walking Dead. Is it that you find it distracting and you feel like you would be able to survive in this situation? I do feel very strongly on this show and towards that matter. And I think it's just because it's the human aspect and the human element of it. And what would I do if I was in that situation? I think that's what a lot of hardcore fans love about the show. That you, you are put in with this group. You feel like you're part of the group. You feel like you know them. And what would I do if I was in that situation? Mr. 102405 said, does anyone besides me like Negan? I do, I love Negan, I think he's an awesome character. Okay, you guys, I've answered as many as I can. I've been filming for like an hour and a half. I hope I can edit it down to a reasonable time for you guys. I hope I didn't miss any or like a lot of questions that were repeated, I would, I would skip over them if that's okay because I didn't want to be constantly repeating myself. But that is it, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's now Christmas weekend, I guess. 
So I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. Be mindful of people around you. Not everyone celebrates Christmas, so keep that in mind. For a lot of people, Christmas can be quite a tender time for whatever reason. So just make sure that you're mindful and respectful of people around you. I hope you guys have a lovely Christmas and I will talk to you probably on Monday or Tuesday. Bye!